Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my eyebrow routine for you all. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieve these brows, then just keep watching. Naturally, I have really, really sparse eyebrows as you can see here, but thankfully using my brow routine, I'm able to mimic fuller looking brows. So I start off by using a spoolie wand such as this one here and I just comb through my eyebrows. This step just allows for all my brow hairs to be facing the same way and just easier to maintain overall. Now taking this eyebrow pencil by MAC in the shade Stud, I'm just going to be applying that to my eyebrows. I really really enjoy this one because it does get darker or lighter depending on how much pressure you add to the pencil. And I'm just doing short stroke motions just to mimic little hairs in my sparse eyebrow areas. As you can see, this is making such a difference to my eyebrows. This is one of my favorite steps. And of course, I'm going to be doing the same to the other eyebrow. So I would just like to mention that my eyebrows are not perfect in any way, shape, nor form. They say that eyebrows should be sisters, not twins, but I could say that mine are maybe even cousins. They are so different. One is way more structured than the other one, but anyway, this is what I've been given, so that's what I have to work with. You can see that that pencil has made the biggest difference in my eyebrows. Now for my holy grail eyebrow products. These are the Ilamasca Brow Cakes, the grey one being Motto and the more brown tone being Thunder. And I'm just taking that on an Ilamasca eyeliner brush. I really, really do enjoy this brush. The bristles are not too long, so they're not really flimsy and you do have the most control. And also the, the width of the brush is also really, really, really nice. I really enjoy it. With this powder, I do start from the bottom of my eyebrow and then I do push the product upwards just so it looks more natural this way and then I will just shape it after I've pushed the product up and that's how I get the best effect. So again, I'm just starting from the bottom and I'm just tracing out that bottom outline just to give the brow a bit more structure. And then I am just brushing the powder upwards in an upward motion, the same direction as my hairs are going. And no matter how hard I try, I always end up having one eyebrow looking really, really good and one eyebrow just looking really, really funny looking. So I always try and even them up and sometimes it doesn't turn out the best. For those days when I do go overboard with my eyebrows, I do just go back in with that spoolie that I used initially and I just comb out the product just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more even and a bit more natural. Now taking my Benefit Give Me Brow, can you tell that it's well loved? I have mine in the shade medium slash deep and it's basically just a little fiber mascara thing but for your eyebrows. I really feel like it gives the eyebrows a bit of texture and it just lasts really really well. And I of course just brush those in the same direction that my hairs are going. This step I don't do all the time, but I am just taking a highlight shade and putting that underneath my brow bone. I don't really see this doing much of a difference, but I thought that I would include it because I do do it sometimes. This step I also don't do all the time, but if I'm going clubbing or I need my eyebrows to stay in place all day long, I will take my MAC brow finisher in the shade clear. It's basically like a stick of wax and I just apply that to the tail of my eyebrow. That's where my eyebrow hairs are most likely to go all funny and stray away. And then I will just lightly brush a little bit through 
the start of my eyebrow as well. I of course don't do this every day just because I don't really see it doing much of a difference but when I do put it on it does make my eyebrows stay in place a little bit longer. So this is the finished look after I've done all of that to my eyebrows. I of course don't do those last two steps every single day so highlighting the brow bone and putting that brow finisher in but all the other steps I do do on a daily basis for the days I do wear makeup and I'm really really happy with how it turned out. So yeah, if you recreate it then definitely tag me on Instagram or wherever and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye!